Welcome to a demo of the Mocha Tracker in action on Pablo Rio. The Mocha Planar Tracker from Imagineer is the most versatile and precise tracker in the industry and it's integrated right into the Pablo Rio colour and finishing toolset. The Mocha Tracker is designed to track an area of image within a defined shape rather than the individual points within a source image. Anda. In this commercial from Ringside Creative, I will be replacing the screen of the phone with another image. A shape can be specified within any of the effects menus such as colour, blur and graphics and is instantly available in the tracker menu. Or it can be defined within the tracker menu itself. Let's take a closer look at how we can define an area to track. I'm selecting the phone to place an image inside this area. Let's name the track Phone so we can identify it later. Mocha offers a sophisticated range of options including scale, shear and perspective. These allow for instances where your shape needs to retain its size or shape through the track or to resize and change as the source image changes, achieving great results when the subject moves in two or three dimensions. You can also apply offsets to the defined shape, allowing for a broader area of the image to be tracked while still retaining the original bounding area of the shape you previously specified. The Mocha tracks can be used across all of the effects tools such as colour, blur and plugins as well as DBE. Here I will add a second video track to the multi-layer timeline by simply dragging the source video over the Add Video button. As this shot has a hard black edge, I'm going to use some of the finishing tools available in Pablo Rio to apply a soft mask and also move the current corner pin positions to match that of the actual source size. Now I can simply apply the track data to the image. By applying a grey to the image, the shot now sits perfectly in the frame. There's just one last effect I need to apply. It's just so easy to edit within MLT and then continue with the finishing of the final shot. I use the key tool to key and add blur through a duplicate of the background layer, thus revealing the fingers from behind the new screenshot and tying the whole image perfectly together. And now I can instantly play this down to view the result. Job done. Thanks for watching this brief overview of the Mocha Tracker in action on Pablo Rio.